What is going on YouTube? Um, oh, hey, look at this. You can see all the websites I go to. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, okay, I just wanted to share something with you today. Um, uh, I want to share with you the best screen recording software that I have ever come across. And I've used this before in the past, but this is quite an older version. Yeah, And yeah, it did do well, but the reason I didn't really like it is because you couldn't have the webcam overlay. And um, uh, it's changed a lot since then. Uh, but the program that I'm talking about is actually Bandicam. This is, that is what this is right here. And uh, as you can see, like uh, the settings, they're not too diverse. I mean, you don't get to choose uh, too much of what it is you want to change, uh, but you can either record gameplay directly or you can record um, rectangle on a screen. But I, I'm going to show you some guy, uh, show you guys some gameplay to show you differences between uh, Bandicam and what I'm using right now, just to record the screen uh, XSplit. Um, XSplit I usually record for my other things, uh, or used to record, because then I can have all this other stuff that I can edit, like um, the screen that you're looking at, you can stretch it and all that stuff, and you get a really more of a diverse experience, and you can switch between scenes, and you can blah blah blah, do this and do that. Uh, but I cannot record games with it. I was gonna, I wanted to record a Minecraft series until it turns out that my computer sucks so bad that I couldn't even record... Um, but, uh, I couldn't even record Minecraft on it using XSplit, so I just kind of got bummed out. And then I came across Bandicam, and then I was like, oh, well, I've used this before in the past, and it did work for me, so might as well try it out again. And because I noticed also that it says, and I can add a webcam overlay, and um, you can't really do too much about that, but you can see you can change the position of where it is it's going to be, and how big it is, and all that stuff, and you, oh, you can change your sound. I did not even realize that. But yeah, you, you do get quite a bit of settings. But anyways, uh, let's just jump into some gameplay right away. Um, this is me recording Black Ops 2 uh, using XSplit. So this is pretty choppy and pretty bad, so take a look. Okay, this should be, oh, 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 that double kill though. Okay, now here's Minecraft using XSplit as well. Ow. Ah! Okay, now as you can see, both of those gameplays, they were pretty terrible. Uh, the quality wasn't... But, um, yeah, they're laggy and choppy, just, you know, worse than you could ever think you could get. But, uh, let's jump into gameplay that I recorded using Bandicam. Let's start with Minecraft first. So this is Minecraft. See, that was pretty smooth, eh? Uh, the quality, of course, isn't, I, isn't as amazing as I wish it could be, but it is the exact same settings that I had on XSplit. And, uh, yeah, okay, so now let's jump into Black Ops 2. And as you can see, that was pretty damn smooth as hell. I was only recording at 30 frames per second, and on XSplit, I think I actually had it set to recording uh, 25 frames per second. Uh, so, yeah, but, uh, the quality and all that stuff, everything is set to the exact same as it was between using either or of them. And I didn't even notice much of a performance drop either on my games. Uh, my computer specs... I have a quad-core AMD, I think it's a A6 5400 or something like that. It's a quad-core 1.5 gigahertz, and I, when I game, I usually overclock it to 2.3. And um, I have 6 gigabytes of RAM. I have AMD Radeon HD 6520 external uh, graphics card, and I have a RAMD, or AMD uh, Radeon HD 757670, I think, is my integrated graphics card. So I obviously I don't have the best specs, but I got this laptop for four hundred and thirty dollars Canadian about two years ago now actually yeah surprisingly so for that price I can play like aside from recording I can play Black Ops too which is just awesome I can't play Ghosts or anything newer like that but can, and actually this computer is selling right now I seen it online for under three hundred bucks brand new so I was like oh, well that's a good fucking computer for three hundred dollars well good laptop anyways. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I hope that you managed to find a way to test this pro this uh, band cam out as well, because um, it is a definitely a lot better than any of the others that I've tried. And yes, I have tried the others like DX Story, Fraps, uh, OBS, all the other kinds. I just don't have them installed right now, so I didn't have them to compare with you. But um, uh, XSplit is what I've been using recently for my other videos. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this content and I hope it helped you because it definitely helped me to figure this out uh, enough that I wanted to share it anyways. And I'm sorry about the mic quality and stuff like that. Um, I can't load any real-time effects in right now. I don't have a... I have a microphone and a post-processing um, microphone unit, all that crap, but I just... And it's hard to set up and my condenser mic needs a source of uh, phantom power and blah blah blah. Anyway, um, 
So yeah, I hope this helped you. Uh, please like the video. Please uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more content. I'm doing Pokemon videos. I'm going to be doing Minecraft videos now that I know I can record them. And uh, tweak the settings so I can hopefully find a better quality setting to record that at. And uh, yeah, so please subscribe, like, and comment. Comment down below if this helped you or not. And yeah, happy gaming. Peace out.